Hi everyone, here's another short video on how to use your texture packs and meshes. So what I want you to do is go onto your desktop or wherever you've got your texture pack. It should be in the same place as what your designer kit is. Now mine is on my expansion drive so I have to open that. Don't open this with GIMP, I want you to open this from here. Right, so I need to scroll down. As you can see, I have got a shed load of stuff here, and it will say texture pack. So just click on that. And here you can see you've got FAT te FA textures, female textures, male textures, and MA textures. Now, if you open it up, click on your FA textures first. I'll just make the screen large so you can see it. You can see here you've got all sorts. You've got bags, glasses, hair. Now these take a wee while to load because they're so big. You can see. Now these are just like texture, shoes, bunny ears, you name it. I mean, I'm not going to wait for all of this to load because otherwise it will take forever and a day. But as you can see, you've got all sorts that you can use and play about with. But I'm not really that interested in the FA textures at the moment. You've got your female textures. Now these are more like the outfits. You've got skins, you've got your furry animals. Again, I'll show you how to do all this. You've got eyes. As you can see here, you've got the skins, the heads, the torso, and the lower body. And you've got makeup. Again, if using these is all good practice, but the only problem I have with these is they never actually fit the meshes right, and you've got to really tweak them and play about with them and all that. But it's good practice. It's good practice. Right, so... And here we have different styles of jeans and pants and you name it. So let's open up a nice pair of jeans. Just for now and I'll show you. So right click on, just pick, pick any pair of pants you want. We'll stick with pants for now because, uh, because the different meshes require, the different outfits require different meshes. So if you... Click on that to highlight it and then right click. <coughs> and open with. And if it doesn't say GIMP, as you can see, mine doesn't say GIMP at the moment. So I'm going to click on choose another application. And hopefully GIMP will come up. mess here because there we go. Uh, not going to and there we have it. So I'll just open up GIMP. I'm wanting to open this with GIMP. It's much easier if you do it this way than going into GIMP and then trying to open it from there because all you get is a list, a written list. You don't get the images. So it's much harder to pick something. So always do it this way. And as you can see, that's come up in GIMP nicely. So now we want to make this smaller and close it. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is already set to 1024, so that's all good. Now, these are female jeans, remember, because I took them from the female textures. Now, we can show you on your move tool. Now, play about with these textures and meshes. Have fun.
click on file, open as layers, just like you've done with your tank top, and then click on your designer kit. Now these jeans look to me like they're, hang on, they look like they're skinny jeans, or no, they'll be straight leg jeans. We'll make them straight leg jeans. So what you have to do is open as layers. I mean, you can actually make them whatever you want because you can't play about with it. Um, I want it in my jacket. Let's help. Uh, hang on. There we go. I need my designer kit, UV maps. Now just scroll down until you, you're here. Now you've got HF lower body baggy jeans, boot cut, flares, flare leg. I'm wanting straight legs. So here we go. HF lower, lower body straight leg. Just pick and choose whatever style you want and I'll show you how to tweak it. Click on that and then click open. Now as you can see this mesh is way too big. It's 2084, 48 sorry. So click on layer, scale layer, making sure those are locked. Click on 1024, 1024. Scale it down. Go over to your layers box here and click on the downward tab. And now as you can see, that's all hidden underneath. Now click on your top layer, right click on it and click, scroll down to where it says add alpha channel. Now the add alpha channel is what when you outline something and cut it, it then makes it transparent round the edges which is no which we then call a ping a PNG file which is what you need all the time for designing. So always remember this, add alpha channel. Go back over here and lower the opacity. You can just see it, and as you can see, it's just a bit too much. And as you can see, the jeans are pretty much spot on with what you've already got. Now we just need to tidy it up a wee bit and expand it so we don't have any gaps. So that's very simple to do. First of all, what I want you to do, now I never ever follow these lines down here because I find that they just look untidy. So what you do is you go into your rectangular select tool and then you left click down, hold it down and drag it. And you just keep dragging it until you've got a nice little box. Again, you see those yellow lines? And then just take it up to where it's about there on the outer edging making sure you're on here, right click inside that, click holding it down, click on edit, oh, and then cut, and that cuts it. Don't worry about the fact that you're inside this mesh because when you're making a straight line it actually makes it tidier, except when you're doing like something frilly or fancy then it gets much more complicated. Okay, so now that you've done that just click in there and that removes that box. Now we want to make this just a little bit larger, so let's try this tool. This is your fuzzy select tool. Just click anywhere outside. No, nope, that's no use, so just click edit. So we'll go back to your free select tool, making sure that you are still on that top layer. Zoom in to 200, go up to the top, and then just follow you can follow the jeans outline really as much as you want. As you can see, this is meant to be a shirt with these, but we don't want that. So we just follow the outline, just basically, it doesn't have to be spot on. Going round and round. Just follow it right round. I'm going to pause this video here because this is going to take a wee now once you've got your outline joined up, and you can see that, zoom it back down to 50, and you can see it's like so. So now you go into select, and remember what I said about wanting the actual material just a bit wider. So click on grow, and bring that up to 15, and just type it in, and click OK. Once that's done, go over to select, invert, and then right click inside, edit, cut. And you can see that has cut away all of that. 
No, mine's not looking very tidy at the top. Let's see. That sees, oh, I see what's happened. It's because I've enlarged it. So when you've still got this up here, go back into your uh, reselect tool and just cut it along the jeans there. If you don't have this, then that is fantastic. But because I always like to grow mine in the outer edges so that I don't have any nasty holes or seams. And my gimp has decided to freeze up. Okay, so once you get that done, you just from here and then just carefully be careful because if you go outside there you lose your uh Reselect to click right inside there and then scroll back over. Same here, again being careful. I mean, don't worry about anything that's left over. Join up. Because remember, I said to you with the pink tank top that so long as it's outside the mesh, it doesn't show on the outfit. So, like, cut. But if you really are worried about it, now just click in there, click on your eraser tool. This. Now that's huge. See, look the size of that. Bring the size down to about that. And then just carefully holding down your left mouse key, just drag that across the top, following the line, and that will get rid of any. Now see how I did that? Because I pressed outside there, I lost my eraser. Click on it again. And then just drag it across, go down to your scroll bar. Now you need to be zoomed in a lot here so that you can see. And even though you can't see anything there, there will be a slight residue. So just bring it up, make sure you don't cut away anything from here. As long as you hold down your mouse key, your left mouse key, you'll be fine. Now, Go back over to your move tool and then click on 50% and as you can see, go back over to the top layer and there you have it. Now I'm not a real fan of light jeans like this so go into colours, hue, saturation and either lighten them using the lightness button you can see what's happening or the dark. You know just play about with them you get what you want. I think I'll leave them about there. Okay, now we want to sharpen these up a bit, otherwise, it'll be very blurred. So, go into enhance, sharpen, and as you can see, you've got quite a nice effect there when you sharpen them. See? pockets and everything else and I've got it about 80. Click OK and you can see how that really sharpens that up. Now go over to your bottom layer and hide it and then click on file, export as, you don't want to export it as these because these are, you need to make a ping file. So left click down, hold it down and highlight it all and then just call it blue jeans straight or something like that whatever you whatever you're doing and then click on desktop go down to select file by extension and scroll down and look for png image and then click on export remember to check that it's on desktop click export Hide that, go into your RLC closet, which RLC is really playing up on me today. It's freezing something awful. Now, going back into your RLC closet, go down to your profile closet, click on clothing because you're now making a new item.
click on create outfit Now guys, for yourselves, if you're wanting to make a man's pair of jeans, just go into the MA textures and look for those. I'll show you how to do that as well, guys. Now click on New Style. And then in Gender, click on Female. In the model category, click on legs. Now in the model, we're wanting the straight leg jeans, so make sure it's those because if you use any of the others, it will mess it up on you. Jeans or whatever you, if it's uh, baggy jeans or whatever, click on that. But click on the relevant model mesh for that. Now straight leg jeans, layer again is clothing okay, and then click on add texture go to browse go to your desktop which is where that should have been saved for you find your jeans there they are click on them click open and click upload texture now please have fun with these textures and practice using them with different meshes and Look for the real and a good idea is to look for the relevant meshes first. Okay, a lot of stuff in there is actually made on a skinny top, which is your nude mesh, not the nude poly. The nude poly medium medium mesh is for legacy, but we'll go into that later. The nude poly, the, the nude mesh. Now in here you can see it's added. So now we want to click on publish. And test. Hopefully, I'm getting into my closet here. In the right time here. Oh. Now, as you can see, I now have a nice little pair of hipster type jeans. And if you want to make them lower, just for these, just use your directional arrow keys on the actual layer and just bring it down. Like I showed you with the stars and everything else, just bring it down. Okay. So that's that little tutorial for now. And I shall show you later on how to add different effects, belts and uh, rips and all sorts to these, out, to these jeans. Okay. So that's it for now, ladies. Guys, I'm going to show you the same thing next. Okay? So let me close down this video and then I'll start a new one. Just for the guys.